everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine. In this channel, I share with you my passion of growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of coffee. So for today, I will be repotting my cactus seedlings. So I have here two types. This one is a Gymnocalisium mihanovicii and this one is an Echinopsis domino or Echinopsis subdenudata. So I sowed these seedlings in August of 2019, but as you can see, they grow in different rates. This one is much bigger, although for this Gymno Calisium, this will be the second time that I will be uh, repotting this seedling because it grew much, much faster. So I actually have, I think, three pots of this seedling this is one of them but for this echinopsis domino this will be the first time that i will be separating this poor seedlings that could hardly get out of the pot anymore could hardly grow so i have here some pat uh big cacti because i want to show you the mother plant where these seedlings or the seeds of these seedlings came from. So this Gymno Mihanovicii, I actually have several types of Mihanovicii. So I lost the label. I'm not exactly sure which one among these is the mother plant of these seedlings. But when I pollinated them, actually, I just cross-pollinated the flowers among them so it's actually a probably a mixture of the genes of each of this um mihanovicii plus i have all my cacti during the summer out in my backyard so bees and butterflies also intercept my pollination so this could actually be a hybrid but i am definite that this came from a mihanovicii gymno because look it is starting to turn purple okay although the spines are yellow uh unlike these ones but who knows maybe when this matures maybe the spine will turn white so anyway for uh, the echinopsis subdenudata i'm uh, sure many of you are more familiar with this type of cactus so this one has white flowers that opens up at night and closes early in the morning but it is a very fragrant flower so this is the mother the big mother plant so this is one of my oldest cactus i've had this for um seven six seven years now for seven years now it's a little bit shriveled because it's winter right now although i do give this a little sip of water despite it being winter so this is the mother plant where this Echinopsis domino came from. So let us now get started with separating these seedlings. Now these two seedlings are actually joined at the base so I remember when I repotted this this is a seedling with two heads so it developed two heads so they're actually joined there at the middle so 
I will be keeping this together and I won't try to separate them anymore. So this is my double headed seedling. So at this point, I inspect the roots for any signs of uh, pests. So they look good. Lo they look healthy. Those little white things that you see there are actually perlite. They're not mealybugs. So these are ready to be potted up. Now, some growers, they practice root trimming for their seedlings. So what they do is like they cut off half of the roots. So the reason for that is they say it's going to develop healthier stronger and healthier roots for the seedlings now i do not do that because of my environment here i live in a desert where it's very hot and very dry that root development takes a long time for me so with these seedlings i won't be doing a root trimming i do that only if the roots are you know for the dead roots i try to clean them out but healthy roots like this i leave them as is because like I said, it's just a very long process for me to be rooting them again rather than just planting them straight like this. For my cactus soil, this is just a cactus and soil mix straight out of a bag. So this one is a little bit richer than what I use for the bigger cacti that I have because I will be planting seedlings and seedlings would want a little bit more water. And I like this soil brand because it comes with little lava rocks these are hard to find at least these sizes are hard to find here in my area so this soil mix already comes with it and also um this i added a 10 percent worm casting in this soil just for um fertilizer and then for my pots i will be using this cute pinch pots that was sent to me by Catherine of pinch pots philippines so here they are now i think the seedlings would be perfect in this size of pots And then finally, I put top dressing on the soil. So not only will it make it look um, cleaner and it will have that finished look on it, this top dressing also helps keep the soil down when I'm watering my plant because cactus soil is very light. So when you water it, sometimes it would float on the top and spill over the pot. So this keeps the soil down when you water your cactus plus it looks prettier <laughs> So now for this Echinopsis subdenodata. So we'll be doing the same thing, although this will be more tedious because there's more in there. 
so this one i watered this i think yesterday that's why the soil is still wet but sometimes it's easier actually to separate them if the soil is a little bit wet So first I separated them in clusters and then it's time for me to separate each cluster further until I get them individually separated. Here are all the seedlings now separated so I counted them there's at least 24 pieces in here so two dozens of Echinopsis subdenudata seedlings. Now I group them according to size so when I pot them up this will can be all together these are the biggest ones and then these are the smaller ones so i'll pot this in a separate pots and then i just would like to highlight these two seedlings right here so this um is the surprise that you get sometimes when you grow cactus from seeds so this one right here the one on the left as you can see it started from one seedling that eventually developed into uh, two heads on top and then this other one is even more interesting because from one seedling eventually it developed multiple heads on top so looks like this one is becoming a monstrous type of cactus seedling the seedlings now all potted up so these are the echinopsis domino or subdenudata in big tray so these are the bigger ones for this i also use top dressing because i have very low humidity here in my area so the top dressing would help keep the moisture a little bit longer in the soil and then this one right here these are the smaller ones so i just place them back in the pot where they came from so this one would uh, need a little bit more watering or more frequent watering than the bigger ones so i will not be watering the big ones so this two trays and this three uh, pots of gymno i won't be watering them until maybe i would wait two to three days because the soil that uh, i use is a little bit damp anyway but for these small ones so I will water this because these are very small and I don't want the very fine root hairs to dry out so th yes this one I'll be sprinkling it with water right away but as for the rest I would wait maybe two to three days all right so that is it if you like my video guys give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and you like to learn more about cactus and other desert plants so until next time Bye guys and cheers!